Hello again. This time we are going to dive a little deeper into the plans of the boat. I've run into some issues with the basic principles of the design and we are going through that today. I'm still working on the big lines, so we're not going to go so much into the details. Okay, as you can see I'm on the computer and uh, well the design is going to happen into the computer, but let's go and check out. Okay, here we have the first version of the bow, the one that was on the original original plans. <clears throat> well, the basic idea in here, maybe I should open this uh, section view. Just a second. Yes, here, here we have, and here we can see the basic principle. So, this guy here is me, 183 centimeters high, and the height of the eye is about 1.7 meters. So, when I'm standing here, you can see that I can see outside, and uh, it brings the floor in a certain level. So you can stand up here and walk through and uh, see all the way through of the windows. But when you make it a low model like this, so this height is only about 500 millimeters, uh, it brings the problem that uh, when you're sitting here, this is me sitting, I have actually measured my height, yeah. You have to stand quite a lot higher. So this is 250 millimeters higher, this floor here, and then the seating is about 450. And from there, it's about 750 to the eye level. So here I'm sitting down and looking through the window. So it brings quite more complex things going on in here. This type of solution is in Garcia Exploration. Uh, you can see in this image that, yeah, the uh, seating area is actually quite a lot higher than the kitchen floor. So, let's go in this, this cockpit area. So, well, basically this brings the problem that I have to put a couple of steps here. Here, and uh, if I move my stickman outside. You can see that when I'm standing here in the cockpit behind the wheel here, the, it's half a meter higher than the floor inside so that I can see through the second window here. Uh, this brings the same problem outside, so when I'm sitting out here behind the wheel, the bench has to be quite a lot higher than the floor itself. And uh, when we are going more backwards here on the sitting area, the same problem is here as well. So. Now I have only raised the 250 millimeters, which is uh, quite a big step up to go. So this kind of solution brings quite a lot of problems. It it makes this thing quite complicated. Yeah. So that's why I started to figure out how could I solve this because there is this another another approach into the problem so now i changed to the version number two which is quite different uh, if i open the same section here you can see that now 
there is much more one level solution here. Because the difference of the uh, height of the eye is about 500 millimeters. That brings that the windows must be more, a little bit more than that. So I can see from the lower part of the window and also from the upper part of the window. So in this solution, the view from the cockpit actually goes through the main saloon. And this is more like the solution in, in Moody and uh, Sirius as well. This brings another kind of problems, but, but they are not that big problems, I think. The biggest problem to, for me is that this looks a little bit too big and clumsy. Well, I don't know if that's a real problem, but yeah, I think the other one looks quite a lot better. But functionally, this solution, I think, is much better and more spacious. And if I open the 3D section here, you can see that uh, first of all, the main sitting area is quite a lot higher. And that brings more room into this uh, cabin under it. So that's obviously a good thing. And there is a huge room be below the floor here. This area is for the engine and stuff, so I can use the hatch and you can see the dinghy garage down there. So that's the main problem here. I'm not going into so much deeper in the, at this point because, well, these are only ideas for now and uh, there's quite a lot of things to decide before I there's a point to go deeper and uh, <clears throat> yeah. If you have any opinions of these two versions I can show you the another version. If you compare this, which has the floor level here and here and here and there, into this. Where you have basically the floor level going all the way through, then there's going to be just one stair here. As you can see, there are some big lines still in consideration. I'm not really sure what's it going to be. But yeah, I think I should contact the naval architect soon. What about the hull shape then? Well, uh, my idea is to make it some way modern hull, but still quite comfortable in the sea. So there is always this struggle between the space inside and the beam and the beam aft and uh, how it behaves in seas and things like that. So basically the narrow narrower and longer and deeper the more comfortable it is it's i know it's not that simple but well that's basically it so when you make it wider especially wider from the aft it becomes more uh sensitive to the sea so but also faster i really would like to do this with one rudder only and that limits some way the beam aft. My opinion here is to make the beam as narrow as possible so that the dinghy garage can be built there. So well it's just slightly wider than the dinghy and uh, well, I think that's one idea. 
I have to discuss this with the naval architect that will design the hall for me. If there's something you would like to know about this project, something about boats or the theory behind them, I'm not an expert, not, not in any means, but uh, well, you can ask me questions and I try to answer them maybe in the comments or in the next videos. So, and then there is just just tiny thing I have been thinking about the hull material. My original plan was to make it cold molded plywood, maybe strip planks and plywood over there. But when you're thinking of going in high latitudes and uh, ice and uh, coral reefs and things like that, the steel has quite a lot of benefits there in safety point of view. So I have to think about that because it really defines the shape of the hull, the material. The steel boats is um, considerably heavier and uh, well, the displacement is quite a lot bigger. So, well, we'll get back to that later. So, it was for this video. Please subscribe down below and hit that like button. And also consider pushing that bell button to get the notifications of my channel. Because, well, this is not weekly schedule I'm having now. And if you really like this, please consider going into the Patreon and uh, do some magic there. As I told you before, I'm not in hurry with this project. Uh, well, my plan is to, well, still within the year 2017 to some way complete the plans for the CNC router. So I think the next video is going to about that. Yeah, see you later. Bye.